Today, we're talking about a small but awesome feature in One UI 7.0 that's going to make a huge difference if you love customizing your phone's look, especially if you're all about wallpapers. We all know that finding the perfect wallpaper can be tricky, especially when your home screen is crowded with app shortcuts and widgets. A busy wallpaper can make your app labels hard to read, which can be super annoying, right? Well, Samsung's got your back with a handy new feature the ability to blur your wallpaper before you even set it as your background. In One UI 6, we had some options for applying effects like turning the wallpaper black and white or adding a color filter. There was even a blur option, but it was limited to images with people and only blurred the background. One UI 7.0 changes all of that. Now you can blur any wallpaper, not just images with people. And if your photo does feature people, you get a choice. Blur the whole image or just the background. Why is this such a game changer? It allows you to keep your home screen looking clean and organized while still showcasing a beautiful wallpaper. The blur effect makes sure your app icons and labels stay legible, no matter how intricate or busy the wallpaper is. Here's a quick example. On the left, we've got a home screen with a busy wallpaper and icons that are hard to read. But on the right, we've applied the blur effect and voila, the app labels pop and the home screen looks sleek without losing the wallpaper's charm. This is just one of the many small changes in One UI 7.0 that are designed to enhance the overall user experience. Whether you're into minimalism or just want the cleaner look, this new feature makes it so much easier to customize your phone while keeping it practical. Want to see the wallpaper blur in action? Check out the video below to watch how this feature works in real time. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you going to be using this blur effect on your home screen? Today, we're diving into One UI 7.0 built on Android 15 and exploring the small yet impactful changes that make a big difference in your daily experience. While the major features like the quick panel, now bar, and charging animations have taken the spotlight, it's the subtle tweaks that truly elevate the user experience. Let's talk about five small changes in One UI 7.0 that I absolutely love. One, vertical app drawer. If you've used One UI before, you're probably familiar with the horizontal scrolling app drawer. It wasn't terrible, but it could get frustrating, especially if you had a lot of apps. In One UI 7.0, Samsung has switched to vertical scrolling by default, and it's a total game changer. You can quickly scroll up or down to find your apps with fewer swipes, and it just feels smoother and more intuitive. Definitely a welcome improvement. Two, translucent effects. Samsung has added translucent effects across the UI, and trust me, they make a huge difference. From the now bar to home screen widgets and even the pill-shaped bar for ongoing activities in the status bar, these subtle transparent backgrounds add depth and a modern touch. The interface now feels more premium and layered, proving that it's often the small details that make the UI visually appealing. Three, new locking and unlocking sounds. This one might sound trivial, but hear me out, the new locking and unlocking sounds in One UI 7.0 are crisp, refined, and surprisingly satisfying. It's a tiny detail, but it adds a sense of polish and delight to everyday interactions. Every time you lock or unlock your phone, it's like a subtle reward for your ears. Four. App Size and Label Settings One UI 7.0 also introduces app icon size and label customization. If you like larger icons for easier access, you can adjust them. Prefer a clean, minimalist look. You can remove app labels entirely. These new options make personalizing your home screen even easier, giving you more control over how it looks and functions. Small, but impactful. 5. Easier access to the audio equalizer Samsung has made audio settings more accessible in One UI 7.0. Now you can simply long press the volume slider in the quick panel to access advanced options like Dolby Atmos, the equalizer, and loudness normalization. It's a super convenient shortcut that keeps the quick panel clean while still giving you quick access to your audio settings. Audiophiles rejoice! Looking ahead to future updates. These small improvements showcase how much Samsung values user feedback and focuses on refining the details. It's exciting to think about what future updates might bring, especially with new foldable phones potentially launching later this year. Samsung is clearly on a roll, and I can't wait to see what's next. 
So what do you think of these subtle but impactful changes in One UI 7.0? Are there other features you're loving or hoping to see in future updates? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts.